Greetings Indie Warriors and welcome to another exciting episode of Upcoming Indie Games for the week of January 23rd through the 29th. Before we get into this week's releases, we would like to take a moment to thank Game Hollywood for sponsoring this video. Their recently released game League of Angels Pact can be enjoyed right through your browser by creating a Game Hollywood account. Summon angels, fight bosses, and take part in PvP battles as you collect various wings and weapons. There are a ton of badass angels to be utilized, all featuring gorgeous hand-drawn art. From Apocalypse to Fortuna, the angels all have unique personalities and fighting capabilities, so it's up to you to discover the many strengths and weaknesses within your party. Even better, despite the fact that League of Angels Pact is part of a series, you'll need no previous knowledge to jump in and enjoy gameplay. Our very own Legend of the Star recently had a ton of fun streaming this one right here at iDream of Indie Games, so check out that link or start playing now by heading down to the description box below. Alrighty then, it's about time to close out January of 2023, so let's see what indie games await us in this final week. Let's start with Warlander, releasing on the 24th. This is a tactical RPG where you can choose between mages, robots, warriors, and master a ton of different spells and weapons. Taking place within a medieval backdrop, Warlander offers online multiplayer action with up to 100, yes 100 players. Work together and break through your enemy's defenses very soon. Keep it locked to iDream of Indie Games where we'll have a live stream covering this game in the next few days. Turn-based tactics and deck building await in Maho Kenshi, also launching on the 24th. Follow the Mahokin as you battle unworldly creatures with tons of missions to take on and islands to explore. The maps look well detailed in this title, and while I'm not the biggest fan of deck builders, I'm liking the overall tone this game presents. Ayaka of House Ruby. Fearless and relentless, she sacrifices her own life to attack with greater ferocity. Zoda of House G, a master of stealth. He prefers to ambush his enemies with lures and poisons. Misaki of House Topaz, valuing knowledge and deception, she wields powerful spells to confuse and destroy. And Kaito of House Sapphire, slow but powerful, he uses tactical positioning to crush his foe with brute strength. The long-running Neptunia series has never been afraid to try new things, and that trend will continue with the release of Neptunia Sisters vs. Sisters. The girls must restore peace to a broken world in this action RPG that has you using combos and chain link attacks all while collecting new accessories so you can look as adorable as possible. And with tons of side quests, fans of Neptunia should have plenty to sink their teeth into. Uh, 
just getting started. Just die, okay? This is really pissed me off. It's over! Body's transformation complete! Did someone call Tim the Tool Man? Handyman Corporations puts you in control of your own business and you'll be performing general repairs, cleaning, construction, just to name a few of the tasks. The game features plenty of mini games, hundreds of jobs, and even a contract browsing feature. Looks like you'll be doing the hiring and firing this month. The excellent point-and-click adventure The Excavation of Hobbs Barrow will make its way to the Switch at last. You play as a book writer, Thomasina Bateman, who one day receives a mysterious letter that sets off a wild chain of events. I love anything Wajidai is involved with, and Literary Rose enjoyed streaming this one greatly. So Switch point-and-click fans, great opportunity here. Samuel boarded up that barra for a reason. Something unnatural occurred, I know it. Is there a single barrow in England that doesn't have some ghastly tail attached to it? Don't mind the locals, miss. They mean well, believe me. Give us a kiss now, won't you? Tell me, Miss Bateman, do you believe in God? Who were lost in visions of, of hell, of hell itself. The devil, I saw the devil. What madness is this? Something is wrong here. What is life without mystery, Miss Bateman? A predictable stagger to the grave? Here kitty kitty, Sissa's Path looks to be an adorable puzzle game now coming to Switch and Xbox. You'll push balls of wool and solve 3D puzzles starting on the 25th. You know, when I saw the trailer for this next release, I said, yep, this could only be an indie, but it's a cool looking one, Death in the Water 2. I guess I missed the original. This is a survival horror first person shooter where you're trying to stay alive in an underwater nightmare as you deal with creatures controlled by death. Find weapons to better your chances and watch out for those mind control attacks in this open world adventure. Mamma Mia, this looks like a fun one with a great 90s pixel art aesthetic. Pizza Tower is heavily inspired by the Wario Land series. The developer states that a great deal of focus was put on movement, exploration, and score attack, and I'm just loving the 90s vibe that Pizza Tower is giving me. Also, I'm kinda hungry.
Rock and roll, folks. Power Chord is locked in for the 26th. This is a roguelite deck builder where the Earth's mightiest musicians come together to take on enemies, earn instruments, and choose between a unique cast of rockers. Fans of Slay the Spire and Darkest Dungeon should take note. This isn't gonna work if you're dead. I'm sending you back. You're gonna take another run at them. But this time, you gotta play together. We're gonna rewind as many times as it takes. Drama meets the roller rink in Roller Drama. Experience heartbreak, use real-time controls and strategy, and make choices that will decide your team's fate. Oh, the drama! You can keep it locked to I Dream of Indie Games, where our very own Literary Rose will be live-streaming this one. Join the Four Nations of Wonderland in this unique visual novel where you'll be playing as the White Rabbit. Wonderland Knights has a magical artistic direction as players make important choices which will shape the outcome of things. The game is fully voice acted and offers plenty of replay value. And that's going to do it for this week, folks. As always, thank you for everything that you do for independent developers, publishers, and for I Dream of Indie Games. Keep it locked here. Subscribe if you've yet to do so. Check out our Patreon page and help us bring a voice to the voiceless ones in gaming. And we'll see you on the channel. Keep it secret, if you can. Of course, darling. What? Who? <laughs> no, I've never heard of such women. <laughs>